Good morning and welcome to Autumns in the British countryside. Now, during my YouTube time, and in fact during my lifetime, I have had the opportunity to drive some pretty outrageous cars. However, today I am working with Emirates to fly something incredibly niche from England all the way back to Dubai. Behold, the Chitty Chitty Bang Bang Rolls Royce Phantom Drophead. For those of you who aren't familiar with Chitty Chitty Bang Bang, it was an eccentric British movie from the 60s that featured a vintage racing car that looked kind of like this, only it wasn't quite in the form of a two and a half ton Rolls Royce drophead. Um, these, these are the crew. Morning, guys. What's up, man? How you doing? Hello, All good. Again. You might remember Thad. <laughs> um, he uh, joined us recently on the F1 tour that we did through um, Europe. And I'm going to be working with these guys for the next few days. Uh, tomorrow, we send this to Dubai. Uh, if you watch this channel regularly, you might remember that I work with this crew flying the Pagani Zonda from Dubai to Italy. Well, this is the next installment for Emirates. We're going to be taking this incredibly eccentric weapon all the way back over. That's it. So Thad, yes. tell me your thoughts. What do you yeah. think about this resplendent vehicle? I can't wait till we get to Dubai and put the top down. Right? Where it's warm and sunny. It, it does feel a little bit out of place here yeah. as well. You I know. think you have seat heaters on the inside. Though. It's so eccentric um, that I think the only place it would work is Dubai. This? Yeah, this? it's probably correct. <laughs> the normal mall car. Yeah. Correct. <laughs> Unreal. Oh yeah, one thing that I, ha I haven't shown you yet, all of these um, switches here. So this car took part in the Gumball Rally this year, uh, 2017, uh, and the guys that kitted the car out have fitted confetti cannons yeah, yeah. in the boot. So these switches here, as you do, ignite confetti cannons that fire out of the boot. Flares and balloons flying out of the back of this car just because, you know, we're flying below the radar as it is. Uh, so I think we need to draw a little bit more attention to the fact that we're turning up in the most eccentric Rolls Royce I've ever seen. PA system? PA system! It is working! <laughs> I say! Ah, <laughs> tell you what a resplendent morning! <laughs> I'm gonna have so much fun with this. <laughs> As if this thing couldn't get any more eccentric. This is the standout feature. It's had a quite a lot of bespoke work done to it. You see all these switches here that just so happen to say arm on them. Um, they are rigged up to something obscene in the booth. Actual confetti cannons. They, these electric points here, they go in there. These are charged with confetti, and upon pressing those buttons, it literally fires confetti out of the boot. I mean, this car could not be any more hilarious if it tried. And the interior as well. I mean, the contrast of burgundy against wood, against cream, absolutely crazy. I would have imagined on Gumball this year, it looks so cool. And of course, what rolls wouldn't be complete without a gold spirit of ecstasy. So we're in the back of the uh, crew van with this vast, look at the size of this lens with this camera here. What is this? A FS7 with a Canon 70 to 200 on it. We're not playing around here. We're not playing around, check it out. But in the meantime, uh, I haven't uploaded my uh, F1 drive video, it's just gone live. Um, this is first hand, uh, experience into what it's really like to be a YouTuber in the glamorous editing environments we find ourselves in. <laughs> they take out the chair in the back of the car. Literally, look at these guys here. So this is this is the, the make, makeshift bench that these guys have got going on there. No need not to be civilized. You, you really look the part there, bro. <laughs> in the dirt. I've just handed Thad a folder of the telemetry from my F1 drive. Thad's going to... Uh, Give me a breakdown to tell me how good or bad I am. Well, <laughs> if I knew, if I was a race engineer. 
So I'm not sure any of you guys have watched the F1 video or not yet, but that turn five that I was telling you about, that's flat, is just here. Um, it's ridiculous, and it really, like, it pulls on your neck like, like mad. The braking is the biggest difference, though. Look at the the first hit of the brake there. Yeah, it's to like a hundred. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's everything. Whereas I don't, I only get, I only get halfway. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, and that was why the guy was saying to me, you need to be able to apply like seventy-five kilograms of brake pressure through your left leg. Well, the, the crazy thing is, is that you brake harder into turn two than the pro. Yeah, that's probably because I'm scared. It's like, <laughs> and I want to shed off some speed. All right, so we've got cars picking up the rolls. Um, cool thing about these guys is they go around the car, do a full inspection. They enter in every detail about interior, exterior, if there's any existing damage, things like that. And then they email the spec to you. They email any problems, the condition of the car. So you sign on the condition and then they send it to you off the iPad so you know exactly how that car left. So you can track its progress and also when it lands you can make sure that there's been no problems with it at all. Pretty cool service. Next time we see the Rolls-Royce Phantom, we'll be in sunny Dubai. Keith Buster, Keith if you're listening, and get your ass downstairs. So, <laughs> we need your help. We've just been racking our brains. Dad, what are you after? You're looking for something okay. very particular. You know how people call, say, have like everyday carries? Yeah. This is every flight carry. Okay. So, what I'm looking for is a way to easily take this out of the big bag. So when I sit down, I have a smaller bag with all the essentials. Phone charger, mm -hmm. cable for phone and phone charger. Mm -hmm. Passport one, passport two, ticket, baggage ticket, uh -huh. spot for the wallet, wallet, and then the essentials. And Ear essentials of earplugs, earplugs, cool, case, audio thing for awesome yes. music. This, but, yeah, we'll explain this in a minute. But this is the. Anyone heard of the dragonfly? Dragon Hashtag dragon. not an ad. This is yeah, legitimately a good, a good thing to if you're a, if you're big into your music, like sort of like I would say accentuates every every. It's like a concert. Sort of, it's like a concert. It yeah. sort of accentuates every like track on the. Uh, on I love the, it. Uh, yeah. It's two hundred bucks. It's cool. Anyway, I have not been paid. <laughs> yeah, no, literally, I have not been paid. Other ear, other That's music it. listening, earbuds, yes. other USB cable for the phone. Bank transfer thing. Bank thingy. And, and, and just card reader. Right. And so, like, I what should you want? Take it out. Have it all. He wants a bag. And if anyone knows of anything, because we've just been doing some research online and it kind of isn't anything. But it's no. certainly not that looks legit. You know, not something that you'd be proud to take out of your main bag. Yeah, I use, a, I use an eyeglasses case <laughs> at the current moment. It's so also known good. as a normal glasses case. <laughs> Anyway, yeah, we can't find one, so if you guys know of any, uh, yeah, make put a, a link below and I'll send it over to, to Thad. And I will buy it. And you'll buy it. And then gift. Hello. Hi, guys. See you later. Right across the right, please. Thank you. See you in a minute. Goodie bag. Nice bit of a, like a leather strip on here. But essentially, when you sit down on these long haul flights, they give you all sorts of stuff. Shaving foam. Bulgari deodorant. That's got to be it. Toothbrush kit. Comb. Actual razor shaver. 
more Bulgari, all of that came out of this little bag that they just gave you. Thank you very much, Emirates. It's gonna make the rest of this flight pleasant indeed. Six hours, 10 minutes flight. I'm gonna try and get some editing done. And I'll probably give you a little tour of what goes down in business class in Emirates. While I'm here, let me show you around this. This is cool. So much storage space. I mean, I'm not sure if this is giving it any context, but this is uh, this is really, really handy for putting all of your stuff once you've decanted it from your bag. Uh, this whole chair as well folds down. So the whole thing. I've got myself a little chill area with drinks. And up here I've got my mic, socks and eye shaves. Oh yeah, the whole chair turns into a bed. Hence, vast leg room. Legs go all the way down here and this whole thing flattens out into a bed. And one of the things that I found Emirates are one of the best at is in-flight entertainment. The array of movies that they have on here oftentimes are ones that haven't even come out in the UK yet, so that's pretty awesome. I've also got this like iPad type of thingy that comes out and you can control the in-flight entertainment that appears on your screen because the screen is like quite far away when you're lying down you can't exactly like keep going up to touch the screen. Check this out. Look at the size of this table. It just keeps it just keeps on coming out. It's huge. And then it folds out and it slides. And it's just endless and there's like a nice side tray here to put little bits and bobs in my case memory cards um for editing this place is amazing number one this the plug for me honestly i know it's very nice being sat in business class don't get me wrong but ultimately if i have a plug i could travel around the world twice without even thinking about it the amount of editing that i have to do and catch up on it's weird that when I'm the most productive, when I don't have phone signal. I got phone signal, I got emails to get through, people who are texting me, uh, social media to take care of. As soon as I'm off grid, the productivity goes crazy. But to have a six hour flight is gonna be such an amazing time. to Dubai. This experience has been awesome. A few hours ago, I handed the keys of the car to Emirates. Now I'm 35,000 feet in the air at a bar, ready to receive my drink. We have arrived. Welcome to Dubai. I'm gonna take this opportunity to sign off. It has been a long, long day. We've traveled from England with the Rolls Royce, which will be joining us soon. We've arrived here. I just gotta get some rest. I'm gonna be continuing the vlog tomorrow. As you can tell from the background, we have landed in one of the finest cities for supercars in the world. Be sure to tune in for the next vlog because that Huracan Performante just so happens to be mine. Ciao.